So, what's your relationship with Chase? That's my son. This time on the life of Chase um, and Roger. So, um, it's like day two. We're shooting in here. Um, that goes to two. My boy walks in the back. Andre and Christy. Okay. AKA Chris. The 90 was a 2 8. Um, just chilling. Then, um. No, it was a 2 as well. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Got Molly. So, we just hanging out. Yeah, a little behind the scenes stuff. We ain't doing too much. Oh. Yeah. The set, the setting up. You know, all they did my interview. See, I'm lavender up. How long the interview? Well, like, like three hours, two hours. I gotta check, man. We uh, we stopped a few times, for not very, not for very long, but uh, felt felt like it was a long interview. Okay. Um, I'd say it was at least two hours. I'm okay. hoping it was over two hours. Okay. You know, I feel like we covered a lot of ground. Um, but I'll get you an official TRT total running time uh, once we ingest it into the Avid and um, you know line it up in the timeline. Okay. Just setting up for her. Can you get the lens cap off? So how you doing? Hi, I'm doing well. Okay, what is your name? My name is Molly. Okay, where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. Okay, you can I tell mean, me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I, I work in marketing. Uh, I've been doing that for about eight years now and lived in New Jersey for a while. Uh, I am married and I have two kids, a five-year-old boy and a three-year-old girl. Okay, so do you have any goals or passions in life or that you have, have achieved or trying to achieve? Um, I want to make a positive difference in the world. Okay, that's it? Yeah, okay. but I think that's a big one. Okay, that's good enough. What are you doing here today? Here, I'm, so I'm visiting in, in Virginia to try and capture some amazing dad moments. Okay, and how did you get on this project? Uh, so I work for Dove Men Plus Care, um, and so we're partnering with the Imagine team on this project. Okay, okay well thank you very much for coming and visit us, and we really, really appreciate your company. to shoot um Shante part of the video so so can you tell me a little bit about where where you're from where you grew up and how long you've been here in, in Triangle? Guess who we ran into? Hold on, hold on. How you doing, miss? Hi. Miss Julie man. We love her to death man. She used to be at a, um the renter manager here and she wound up upgrading and leaving us. Let me say hi to my love. Leaving us and stuff so we just ran into it right before the gym. Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. I missed you. Oh, you doing good? Yeah. All right, well, we'll hang out soon, okay? okay. I cookies. You want cookies? <laughs> I'm gonna have to bring you some on Wednesday. Uh, so we at the gym right now. Psst. Got everybody. We'll catch the rest of the video when we get inside, but um, I'll let y'all know what's going on. But I'm gonna keep this inside and get what I can and let y'all know after we leave the gym, because me recording, they recording, be right back. Yeah, I'm very, very happy to be a part of this project. Um, I can't say a lot of stuff, so by the time this vlog comes out, best believe like the movie, the trailers and everything had dropped, so I can actually say something about it. But um, as of right now, you know, um, I gotta be on a hush hush and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a lot of comedians and big time celebrities that's a part of this um, documentary as well, just being a dad. I wish I could tell y'all more about that, or who is attached to this, but as you know, we are attached to it, so we are the celebrities, you know, we big time celebrities. You know, you got this image of fathers out there that's not so great, but then you got a lot, a lot of dope and good fathers that do a whole lot of stuff that's not like the light is not shining on us more so so it just it's just super stoked man like they might do a a red carpet they might call us on out for that they might fly us on out you know and hopefully somebody will pick it on up because you know they got the thing called like the Sundance where they show like little 
documents and feature length films and hope somebody pick it up or hope your company pick it up to put it on like an Amazon Prime or Hulu or Netflix or any one of these streaming services. So just like that, but they got one called Hot Docs. It's in Toronto, they do every year. So hopefully it get picked up and if it get picked up, hey man, you know, that'd be super, super dope. So we'll see, we'll see. First, me okay. here. Yeah, it will. How you, the bathroom. Okay, no problem. How you first came across us to um to, 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 do, to document? Um, I discovered um Robert Selby and Chase with a colleague of mine, Elizabeth Jameson, um basically just doing research uh about uh, modern day fathers who were present. And we were tasked with sort of the job to find fathers who were great examples of present fathers who may have um, documented a little bit of their own journey through fatherhood and that would potentially be willing to share their stories with us. So we basically searched the internet, we read some articles, um, literally some of the searches were like, you know, a story, interesting stories about fathers, um, uh, present fathers, Instagram or uh, father uh, vloggers or YouTube fathers. So just random searches, and there's quite a bit. There's quite a, a big world out there. So then it was a matter of visiting these pages, finding these pages, and getting a sense of who some of these people were. Then we came across uh, Robert and Chase's. Uh, I think it was his in your Instagram actually. And um, first we were just struck by. Uh, you know, there's, there's something honest about the material there. We were also in, intrigued by, you know, there's some pretty intimate stuff there as well. And from there, and also the photography looked nice and, you know, there was kind of like a story. We got a sense of both of them just from the Instagram and then I think from there it led us to the YouTube page where we actually got a lot more videos and some backstory. <clears throat> and I think it was from there, correct me if I'm wrong, Robert, I think your email or there was some kind of email if you go into like the YouTube settings. Yes. There was like some YouTube settings with your email. So I believe either Elizabeth or I contacted them and then we set up a Skype so we can tell them about the project. At that time we were still kind of figuring out what the whole thing was. We knew we wanted to find present fathers. We knew we had some time to do that. So we started the process. and. You guys, uh, Robert and Robert, you were sort of one of the, I think maybe the third or fourth father we spoke to, but out of the first three we called, they had really great stories. They had some really nice photos, but when we spoke to them, there just wasn't really a connection or they were a little camera shy or they were just didn't seem to share. But I felt like when we when we had our Skype with, with, with you, was it a phone call or a Skype at first? I think it was a Skype, right? Yeah, no, well, I think I did a, a phone call phone real call. quick, but then we was like, it's better just to do Skype so we could, so you could Skype in with us. Yeah, well, we split a phone call, I think, first, and yeah. it was like we both felt like, wow, um, this is a great story. Um, and then, yeah, and then we set up a Skype so we can meet the whole family, and that was fun. And then when we met Chase, we saw, like, oh, wow, he's very outgoing, obviously not shy. Yeah. So, um, and I think there was a long period where there was a little unknown, and then um, here we are. Yeah. I'm not sure if I answered your question. Oh, yeah, you did. You okay. did. I, and I really, really appreciate it uh, for reaching on out to us, um, giving us this opportunity to share our story. And, um, you know, we went from just talking to, you know, interacting to working now. It's like a family now. So, you know, yeah. like the vibe that I get from y'all is like, more of um long lost cousins and stuff like that I think we're and then, friends you know, for life yeah man. exactly I, think. I feel like yeah. listen you let us into your home wherever yeah. i am come up to brooklyn yeah. if you ever find your way to california pacific grove you've got a place to stay absolutely yeah. and and no matter what i think we're going to be staying in touch oh, yes, i'm sir. certainly going to be following you guys yeah. on instagram and youtube now I but you know, appreciate it appreciate it sir we're in each other's rolodexes <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you very much thanks man all right. Love and happiness